Surgery can be scary for anyone, but especially for us kids who don't always understand what the grown-ups are saying. I had surgery at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital, and maybe hearing about my story will make you feel better about getting surgery. We got to the hospital, and I was a bit nervous. My mom came with me. Mom checked us in with the lady at the desk while I noticed some of my nervousness was going away. A name band was placed on my wrist to tell everyone who I was. It also had my doctor's name on it. It wasn't long before my name was called and it was time for my vitals to be taken. Vitals are height, weight, blood pressure, and temperature. Those were important numbers for the nurses and doctors to know about me. That way they could take care of me. Nothing hurt and the people there were really nice. Before going into a room to get ready for surgery, we had some time to read the book I brought. I noticed a few other kids looking at their tablets or at the fish in the fish tank. Soon my name was called and we didn't have to walk very far since everything happens in the pediatric surgery center. My pre-op nurse, the nurse who helped me get ready for surgery, was also really nice and brought me a warm blanket after I changed into the hospital's pages. She asked my mom lots of questions. The nurse told me I'd see some other people who would be with me while I was having surgery. My doctor, the anesthesiologist, the OR nurse, and the child life specialist would show me a few things and talk to me about what my job was going to be. She said we could ask any questions, if we had any, that we didn't think to ask before today. After the pre-op nurse was finished asking my mom the questions she needed, she listened to my heart and lungs. Soon all the people she told me about came to see me, even the doctor that was going to do the surgery. She was really nice. The anesthesiologist also came by. He is the doctor who is going to help me fall asleep during the surgery. He made me laugh a lot. Even though I had been nervous and had butterflies in my stomach when I thought about today, the day I was going to be having surgery, I wasn't feeling nervous at all. I was very surprised. Seeing all the people who were going to be with me made me feel better, just like my mom told me it would. The child life specialist came in next. She told me many things about what I'd see and how I'd feel once the surgery was done. Hearing those things made me and my mom feel less nervous. The nurse had to put an IV in my hand before surgery so I could get fluids and medicine in a straw in my vein. They have a comfort promise to help and not hurt. The nurse used numbing medicine and I played on an iPad while they started the IV. It didn't even hurt. Sometimes kids have a mask for sleepy air to breathe in so they can drift off to sleep instead. I gave my mom a hug and told her I would see her soon. She would be in the waiting room while I was getting surgery. Then it was time to roll down the hallway. This is the first time I rode on a bed with wheels. In the operating room, I saw lots of interesting things. I had a warm blanket and I met some new people. Then I fell asleep for the surgery. Before I knew it, I was waking up in the recovery room. My mom was there next to my bed. I was feeling pretty sleepy. A monitor was keeping track of my heart rate and breathing. After a while, the nurse offered me juice and a popsicle. That tasted really good. After resting and drinking some juice, the nurse was able to take the monitor and IV away. I was very proud to do something I thought was going to be very scary. Turns out it wasn't that scary after all. I got to go home after surgery, but sometimes kids have to stay overnight in the hospital after surgery. 
When it was time to go home, they pushed me in a wheelchair out to my mom's car. I hope hearing about my story will make you feel better about getting surgery at Sacred Heart Children's Hospital.